Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to run you guys through what it would take for somebody who hasn't purchased an NFA item before. What does it take today to make a purchase like that? So let's head over to Zion the shop. I'm gonna meet Adam there. See you guys in a bit. Ah, uh, good morning. Hey, good morning. Hey, Mike. So, hey, how's it going? Good. Adam, Adam, Mike, Mike, Adam. Nice to meet you. He just purchased his first suppressor. Okay. And uh, I wanted to bring him over just to get him squared away in the fingerprints photos. So he's ready to go and uh, we can get the paperwork on as quick as we can. Okay, that sounds good. What'd you get? Uh, a rugged 762. Ah, good rugged choice. Razor. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I keep saying it's the quietest bang for your buck. Get it? <laughs> That's a good saying. Get it? Yep, I do. All right, let's go check out the kiosk. Let's see how it works. All right, so the next step here is to use the kiosk. This is gonna collect your fingerprints and demographics. Okay. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started here by pressing the fingerprint. And you should have been sent a QR code if you wanna check your cell phone real quick. Yep, I got and, it. And um, yeah, just hold it up right there under the laser where it says scan here. All right, there we go. So we can go ahead and get started in the first step. Okay. It's gonna ask you some customer profile questions, demographics and so on. And, You'll just kind of figure that out. I'll stand over here and uh, let you take that over. Sounds good. So let's get you started. Uh, start capture. Okay. And then uh, I think you're going to start with left hand fingers. All right, left hand thumb. There you go. Signature. All right, so you have a few different options um, how to buy your NFA item. I ran okay. you through it earlier a little bit, but ultimately you have a trust, you have an individual, and then you have a corporation option. Okay. Let's say that you uh, would buy only one NFA, NFA item and you don't anticipate anybody else to use it, for example. Individual could be could be one route. Me, personally, I prefer the trust. Okay, Because yeah. that way, you know, if, if, God forbid, something would ever happen to you or something like that, you have beneficiaries on there, which makes it legal process. Uh, once you're not there anymore, a little mm -hmm. easier for your next of kin. And then also, if you want to put somebody else in the trust at some point, you can basically have somebody else use that NFA at them um, while you're not with them. Otherwise, you always have to be with them within yelling distance, so you're gonna have to be there, basically. Definitely sounds like trust is the way to go. I'll yep. go and do that. Let's just skip that step for now. It's easier, I think, to fill it out actually online. Sure. You, you can go on sandershop.com, you can buy your trust. Uh, ultimately, it's also where you buy your tax stamp later. Okay. So for now, we're just gonna finish the um, biometrics uh, and demographics. So we're gonna take your personal information, you can use your driver's license for that right now. And then uh, also we have to take your picture. So okay. let's uh, get the ID started. Everything look good? It does. So those questions are basically what you also would see in the 4473, the regular transfer. Yep, they look familiar. Form. Right, now we're gonna take your picture. Okay. Uh, you could do that using the, the mobile app. So once you open that, you're gonna just use your Sensor Shop account information to log in. Okay. All right, I'm in. Looks good. Um, then you have an option down there to say photo. Okay. Now I'm going to try to take your photo against uh, just a uh, background here. Good enough. Works for me. Great. Next step basically would be to go online. You're going to do your tax stamp. Okay. Right? And uh, we're going to get your trust set up. You can buy an NFA gun trust on silencershop.com. Um, like I said, there's a what's considered a family trust mm -hmm. or a gun trust, and then there's a single shot. Uh, if you do add more items, let's just get the, the regular uh, gun trust, and that way you can add more items to it. Okay. But that's pretty much it. The nice thing is, uh, once the fingerprints are on file, you can reuse those, right? So if you do an SBR, an SBS or something, you have to send in your fingerprints mm -hmm. after e-file. Um, you can come here uh, and get the fingerprint cards printed out. Okay. That's pretty handy, I've done it in the past. And then the other thing is, let's say, let's, let's pretend, you know, something 
unthinkable like that would ever happen that we have a global pandemic, right? And things are shutting down. This happened to me actually. I needed to get fingerprints done for uh, my SBS. And uh, guess what? All these police stations stopped doing this stuff. They sure. they reduced their um, services to the minimum, right? The fingerprints definitely didn't make the cut. Uh, so I was actually in a situation where I had to get fingerprints and there's uh, one uh, uh, location where you could get them done at some agency, but it took me forever to get an appointment. Mm -hmm. And I found out I can actually come just over here to the shop and get these cards printed. That was pretty handy. So okay. you have that going for you. Uh, buying NFA items going forward is going to be much easier uh, because of all the legwork you did today. So. Cool. Um, do you want to take another look at that razor and then yeah, uh, absolutely. I think you're ready to head out of here. Cool. Awesome.